On April 5th, Heal the Ocean's Hillary Hauser, Jeff Mawson, and cameraman Jim Knowlton dive the Goleta Sanitary District sewage outfall line located one mile off Goleta Beach. They wanted to see for themselves what was being pumped into the ocean in an area where people swim and recreate less than a mile away at Goleta Beach and at the popular surfing spot, Campus Point. They dive down to the bottom at about 90 feet deep and 50 feet from the outfall. Hillary used an underwater dive light to survey the area beneath the boat and she found this sea pen on the bottom. Then they swam over to the pipeline. The pipe is about five feet wide and has seven inch holes on the side where the sewage comes out. This is the first hole they came upon and it was near the end of the pipe. It had some solids in it and some unidentified bits of white substance. Then they went to the end of the pipe where another seven inch hole is located and it also had a continuous stream of brown and black solids coming out of its exit. At another hole located further up the pipeline, they found that holes located closer to the beginning of the pipe expelled more solids than those towards the end. This solid matter plume rose up from the bottom towards the surface and could be seen in the water surrounding the boat when they were suiting up. The current that day was headed towards shore just east of Goleta Pier. Heal the Ocean has done tests that show the presence of viruses in the water at Goleta Beach. After seeing the sewage outfall, Heal the Ocean continues to believe that sewage dumped from this outfall should receive mandatory secondary treatment. <laughs>